in this video we're going to be having a pack battle lost abyss in form of this like v star box versus eight lost origin packs how's it going everybody budget pokemon here as i've said in the intro we're going to be having a pack battle battle lost origin or lost abyss versus lost origin now we have eight packs of each the eight packs from lost abyss come from this v star box this is similar to the one uh, from like the release of ev heroes which has gotten cr crazy crazy expensive but this is a really cool box you get a v star booster as an extra which can yield you some of these cards if i can show it on the camera stand is in the way there you go there's like the the um zashian the zamazenta and the rotom Probably want to pull the Zashian V-Star, that's like the coolest. But let me just get the uh, Lost Abyss boosters out of here. And then we're going to be continuing on with our pack battle. Also, let me just show you the back of this real quick. Of this product. If I can do that, there you go. I have to kind of tilt it a bit. Okay, so here we have our eight Lost Abyss booster packs. As well as this extra booster pack, which I hope has the Zashian inside. And we also have this one. The V-Star Marker. It's just out of, uh, like, paper, but, you know, it is what it is. Let me put the Lost Origin right here. I also have an extra pack. Now, this is not going to be counting towards the pack battle. I just got this as an extra. If you don't know what this is, this is, like, from uh, Lost Origin. You get, like, two Pokeball-shaped uh, gummy sweets and, like, a v, v card or, like, an uncommon card or common card, which, yep, it is just going to be a Ferrothorn. But a very cool Ferrothorn, I like this, also from Lost Abyss, as the S11 indicates, and like, two gummy sweets, I don't know, I guess, I think it was a, a nice addition, you know, I got this free of charge, but anyways, let's start off with the, what we call with the extra pack, let's see what our V and V star will be, hopefully it's the Zashian, oh, it is the Zashian, yo, that's sweet, that's very nice. And sleeve those two up. Okay, so let's start it off with Lost Abyss. I don't know what I want to do yet, if I want to alternate. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to alternate the um, the booster packs, like open one Lost Abyss, open one uh, Lost Origin. And we'll see where we go from here, as we pull a Hypno and a Lumion. No horse goes for that one, but Lost Origin. Also, I have to make a prediction which set is going to win. I'm going to put it on Lost Origin for, like, no reason at all. Mainly because I didn't have any luck with, um, what should we call it, with Lost Abyss. That's probably the main reason. There you go, code card. That's for you. And we're not going to be doing the card trick here. Rockruff, Seal, Machop, Lickitung, an Arc Phone, and our first Hollow, a Spectrier. A Pokemon that I cannot pronounce for the love of me. Trust me, I have tried many times. I have tried many times. Anyways, a nice holo. Let's go for another Lost Abyss opening. Or another Lost Abyss uh, booster pack. Hopefully we can pull something here. Uh, at the time of filming... Let me just talk about a bit of other stuff here. I've actually gotten my pre-order in for... Um, Paradigm Trigger. As we pull a Tangle List, nice. So we've pulled a holo out of both now. I've gotten my uh, pre-order in for Paradigm Trigger. Uh, don't know when it will get here. I hope before the 2nd of um, November. We'll release, I don't know, 21st of October. Or was it, no, 21st of October, yeah, that's right. Oh, it might, it might. We'll see. We shall see if it gets here in time, but as always for like new openings, I try to avoid spoilers like the plague, but there is just so much stuff on my Twitter feed and everywhere, you, you can barely avoid it. As we pull a Magnazone, yo, that's another point for a, for a Lost Origin. I try to avoid uh, spoilers like the plague, but you know, with so many out there, they're really, really hard to avoid. I'm not going to show any pictures because I think that would be unfair. But the alt arts I've seen that are featured in Paradigm Trigger are amazing. Not just the alt arts, also the um, the full art trainers. So both really, really amazing. 
and I have never pulled an alternate art from a Japanese booster box or any Japanese product. Never pulled an alternate art from a from a Japanese uh, product. I've pulled the um, the what should we call it? The friends in gala multiple times, three times now, with that opening um, last week. Go check that out if you haven't already. I'll link it in the description below if I don't forget. Hopefully I don't forget. But that was a really awesome opening. We've pulled the, the Gala friends. Which also, by the way, I think this uh, that also gets uh, released in Silver Tempest. So that's actually getting an English print, which is really, really nice. I'll probably end up picking it up in, in English as well, even though I do already have it in in Japanese, this one, this booster pack just does not want to open. That means there must be something good inside, right? If it doesn't want to open, there's probably something good inside. That's how it works, right? So you got a Don Fan, Fletch Cinder, yo, an Aerodactyl V. Yo, they're neck and neck. This is actually gonna be close. Unless we put like an alt art or a trainer gallery card, this is gonna be real close between these two. So far, not like, um, crazy pulls, but still, we've got two Vs and two Hollows. I do believe, well, if the pulls are even, it does kind of come down to the popularity of the Pokémon, as I showed the code card, which I'm not supposed to do. As is the popularity of the Pokémon, but I think Japanese cards, for the most part, are much more expensive. We pull another Hollow. Nice. And a V-Star card. Especially like these, uh, the alternate arts and the full art trainers. They're always way more expensive in Japanese than they are in English. Well, that pack really didn't want to open, eh? So yeah, as I've said, like, uh, full art trainers are much more expensive in Japanese, usually. As we get a Bufalant. But, in English they're cheaper, so that's great for a full art supporter uh, collector or full art trainer collector like me. Because, I can get them for cheap if I don't care about the language, which usually, I do not. I'll try to go for either Japanese or English. It mostly depends, it mostly depends on the price, to be quite honest. There's some cards that are crazy expensive in English, I think the best example is uh, Marnie's Pride. Which in Japanese, I don't know how expensive it is nowadays. It was like 300. It was really expensive. What the f What is this? We've pulled a second Magnus Zone. Okay, well, a pull, a pull is a pull. A second Magnus Zone. But that's, that's, what are the odds of that? The second, the same V card twice in one opening. But yeah, the Imani's Pride, that one is crazy expensive in Japanese. I don't, last time I checked, it was like 350. 350 to 400 euros. It might have gotten way more expensive now. Because that card is rare. That card is really, really rare. But in English, it's like a 10 or 20 euro card. So what's the deal? Really, really cheap in, in English. But hey, it doesn't matter. It realistically it doesn't matter. You can collect any language you want. It's fine. Just collect what you want. I'll just go for whatever is available or cheapest. I've recently tried to pick up one of tried. I've checked the prices for the um the Evolution alternate arts. As we pull a vile plume. It's not looking good for the Japanese opening now. I've checked the prices for the Evolution alternate arts from mostly Evolving Skies. There's like one from Fusion Strike, I think it was the, the SP on VMAX. But they have gotten really expensive. They have gotten so expensive that like building a collection I could decide to, if I wanted to buy them, which I'm not going to, because they're way too expensive, I could decide do I buy the Evolutions or do I buy myself a nice EX collection? I think you already know the answer to that one. Pretty sure you know the answer to that one. We get nothing in that pack. Just one more pack after this one for each left. At this point we have to pull an alternate art. 
or like a really really good V star from from Lost Abyss. Otherwise, Lost Abyss just lost this one. But let's see what we can do. I mean, I wouldn't say no to an alternate from Lost Origin even if we pull a cute Pikachu. Look at that. That's really cute. Like that Pikachu. Phantom. Sudowoodoo. Finian. And a Poliotoad. So, just one pack left for each. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, I'm hoping for the Paradigm Trigger opening that I finally do pull an alt art. As I've said in the opening, never pulled a Japanese alt art. I would be really happy for uh, for Paradigm Trigger to be the first. To be quite honest. But then again, what else is releasing? The, um... What should we call it? The Charizard Ultra Premium Collection? That's releasing... Yo, we've got a V-Star! We've pulled, like, the cover card. Giratina V-Star. Okay. I'm actually really excited to see how this turns out. If we don't pull anything crazy now, in this last Lost Origin pack, the Japanese might actually take it. I'm not gonna calculate this in, because this is, like, from an opening and this... or from the, like, special booster pack. We're just gonna be calculating the pulls from the actual booster packs. So, let's see what we can do here. Here's the code card. Let's do the card trick for the last one. There you go. And Lost City. Carbink. Kamala. Seal. Zorua. Snover. Machop. Pikachu. Fire Energy. Reverse Ghastly. Really happy Ghastly. And... Oh, and non-holographic Dugong. Okay. So this actually ended up being really close in the end there. I don't know if the if the V-Star Giratina has managed to pull the Japanese pulls ahead. Let's just go through these real quick. Sort them like this. So we've pulled, of course, two Magnazones. We've pulled two Magnazones and like three holographics from, from the Lost Origin. And then from our Japanese opening, we've only pulled one holographic, but we've also pulled an Aerodactyl V. And, of course, a Giratina V-Star. So, the values of each will be popping up right now. This is how much we've gotten. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in a guess, I don't know. I think the, the Japanese one will pull ahead. I did say in the beginning uh, English was gonna win, but seeing the polls now, I think Japanese might just, might just pull ahead a little bit. Lost Abyss. But there you go, that was my pack battle, Lost Abyss versus Lost Origin. If you enjoyed this video, then a like would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe for more content in the future. And thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.